A while ago, I made a video about builds in Floor.io. Things have changed since then, and there are some updates that need to be made. So, this is how you can actually make the perfect build in Floor.io. First, any build in Floor.io must have pedals, and not all pedals are made equal. There are a lot of pedals in the game, so instead of going through all the stats of every single one, it's much better to know the types of pedals and their uses. There are four general categories of pedals. Nuking, DPS, tanking, and support. Nuking pedals deal a lot of damage in one shot, but have low durability and slow reload. DPS pedals have low damage and durability, but fast reload. Tanking pedals make builds that can absorb a lot of damage, either through high durability or through an effect that improves the player's tanking ability. Finally, Support pedals are used for a special effect instead of damage. Now, keep in mind that not all pedals perfectly fit into one of these categories. These are just the general categories that most pedals can be sorted in. For example, Lightning is sort of its own type of pedal with its bounce ability. Fangs feel like a support pedal but do it through dealing damage. Missile and Wing are used for their range, with Missile being closer to a nuking pedal, and Wing being closer to a DPS pedal. There are several other pedals that can't really be categorized, but these are the most important ones. Now let's go over the best pedals from each category and what they are used for. Nuking pedals include Stinger, Claw, and Tomato, Tomato isn't really that good because of the timing required for it to actually act as a nuking pedal. Its max damage is also lower than a stinger or claw of the same rarity. For example, a mythic tomato has a max damage stat of 17k, while a stringer or mythic claw deals 24.3k damage. Keep in mind that all three stingers are counted because it only takes up one pedal slot. And the bonus damage for Claw is also counted because we're comparing max damage. Stinger is the perfect example of a nuking pedal. It deals a lot of damage in one shot, but is fragile and has a 10 second reload time without upgrades. Claw has a shorter reload time, but its base damage is very low for a nuking pedal. The reason it counts as a nuking pedal is because it deals bonus damage equal to a stinger of the same rarity against mobs that are above 80% HP. Use Claw for initial damage on mobs that are above 80% HP because it has more durability and a faster reload time. However, when the mobs are below 80% HP, Stinger is superior because it doesn't rely on that bonus damage. When using Claw on an Ultra or Super mob, swap it out for something else once the mob is below 80% HP. Nuking pedals are good for quick single target damage on lower rarity mobs, but don't work as well as DPS pedals for Ultras, Supers, and large swarms. For DPS pedals, Light and Sand are the winners. When I said that Light was the clear winner last time, that was based on Optimal DPS. Optimal DPS refers to the DPS with an ideal rotation speed so that when the pedal comes off cooldown, it immediately hits the mob. For Mythic Light with full reload upgrades, this is 6.3k, and for Mythic Sand, it's 5.3k. However, the fast reload that gives light such a high maximum DPS also creates a problem. See, in order for a pedal to immediately hit a mob when it comes off cooldown, thereby reaching optimal DPS, it must make a full rotation of 2 pi radians in the same amount of time that it takes for it to reload. A player's base rotation speed without any upgrade is 2.5 radians per second, so it takes about 2.5 seconds for a full rotation. This can be calculated by dividing 6.28 by the rotation speed. If a pedal's reload time is 2.5 seconds, it will reach optimal DPS. If you add a mythic faster, however, your rotation speed increases to 4 radians per second, and now it takes 1.5 seconds for the pedal to complete a full rotation. By the time the pedal reloads, it will have gone past a full rotation, and then it has to complete another rotation to hit the mob again. It is no longer reaching optimal DPS. However, 
Let's say the pedal's reload is much faster, only taking 0.9 seconds. Now, instead of the rotation being too fast for the pedal, it's now too slow because the pedal would come off cooldown 0.6 seconds before it completes a full rotation. So in order to reach optimal DPS, you would have to add even more fasters. Light's extremely fast reload means that you have to use a lot of fasters to actually reach maximum DPS. And with that many pedal slots used up, it's actually better to use sand instead with fewer fasters. Light also has another use though. It packs your pedals together. This is useful for builds with missile or bubble. And since light has a faster reload and more particles, it benefits more from burr than sand does. So if you're using a high rarity burr, light catches up to sand and DPS even with the rotation speed problem. Rice is another good DPS option. Its max DPS is actually better than light and sand, but its super fast reload means that you can only effectively use a few of them at a time and yin yang micro is absolutely required. It's also extremely difficult to get higher rarities of rice because they can only be dropped by baby ants, which are pretty uncommon and don't naturally spawn as ultras or supers. DPS pedals are much better than nuking pedals for dealing with swarms of mobs because they are more consistent, and since you can't insta-kill an ultra or super, DPS is better against those except for Ultra and Super Leaf Bug. Nuking pedals are better in that case because DPS pedals can't get through the Leaf Bug's armor. Good tanking pedals include Salt, Cactus, Soil, Sponge, and Cutter. Salt reflects damage back to the mob that dealt it. Soil and Cactus increase your max HP, but Soil also decreases your movement speed and makes you bigger. Sponge spreads out damage over a long time, giving you time to heal. Finally, Cutter increases your body damage. These pedals allow the player to survive large amounts of damage, killing the mobs in the process, either through damage reflection or ramming. High durability pedals like Heavy, Corn, Pearl, and Rock also fit in this category because they can form a tough shield that's hard to break through. These types of tanking pills are also exceptionally strong against mobs with low body damage because they can rapidly hit the mobs multiple times before the durability is consumed. There isn't a definitive best support pedal since they are used for very different purposes. I could make an entire video on just this category, and I probably will at some point, but I'll briefly go over some good ones right now. Antenna increases your field of view, Bubble boosts you when you right click, Faster makes all your pedals rotate faster, Jelly knocks back mob, Third Eye allows you to expand your pedals further, and Magnet increases the range in which you can pick up pedals. Magnet also absorbs lightning attacks, protecting the flower. I have a whole video on healing pedals, so I'm not going to say too much about those. And I also have a video on Yggdrasil, so I'm not going to talk about that either. Burr applies a debuff to mobs, decreasing their armor. If the mob doesn't have armor, then the debuff causes it to take extra damage. Yin Yang reverses your pedal rotation, and using multiple of them causes your pedals to form weird tentacle-like shapes. It's typically used to keep a certain pedal, like bubble or rice, in place. This can be done by constantly switching one yin yang in and out of your build. Before we move on, here are some pedals that are good in certain situations but are overall outclassed by other pedals of the same type. You can see the reasons why they aren't the best. Other than the pedals, there are a few other things that influence your build. The higher your level is, the more health and body damage your base flower has, which affects your tanking ability. Your upgrades also play an important role in your build. The most important upgrades for your build are loadout and reload, because a good build definitely requires more than 5 pedals, 
and reload upgrades significantly increase your DPS potential. You should try to get these upgrades early on. Crafting doesn't directly change how powerful your build is, but it's an important upgrade as well because it'll allow you to get higher rarity petals. Sharp edges, medic, and health are also good for your build, but they're less important than the upgrades previously mentioned. Petal rotation is an upgrade where more is not always better. As I said earlier, it depends on the reload time of your petal, so make sure to check the ideal rotation speed for your build, either by doing some math or using a DPS calculator. So what build do you use? Well, that depends on how you play, but here are some suggestions. A Death Wheel is a build made up of DPS pedals, burr, and fasters. It is perfect if you want to maximize your DPS to deal with swarms or get loot from ultras and supers. A lightning build also works well against swarms, and it's the best counter to leaf bug, leech, and centipede because it bypasses armor, strikes multiple segments of centipedes, and strikes leeches multiple times since leeches are technically segmented. Tank builds are great against lower rarity mobs and are also good in PvP. Some excellent tank builds are Saltfish and Salt Yucca. Pairing Salt with Starfish or Yucca allows you to quickly heal while reflecting damage. High rarity eggs and sticks can deal a good amount of damage and push mobs away, but they cause lag and prevent others from getting drops, so don't overuse them. Missile and wing builds are great for attacking from a safe distance, which is important for when dealing with certain mobs. Third Eye also works for that purpose. And don't underestimate the importance of support pedals. Healing pedals should almost always be used, and faster is absolutely necessary for DPS builds. As I said earlier, I made a video about healing pedals a while ago, and if you haven't watched already, you should absolutely check it out, because healing pedals are an essential part of your build, and it's important to know which ones are better, especially after the healing nerf. 